So in this example, <clears throat> when what we're trying to do is identify the, the surface area. To identify the surface area, ladies and gentlemen, all we simply need to do is look at our base. All right? And we can see that, yeah, this, this figure right now is not like tilted on this base, right? It's kind of like on its side. But when we're looking at the base, this is going to be our figure, which is a rectangle. So to find the surface area, if you guys remember, equals 1 half perimeter times height plus B, where B is our area of our base, and P would be the perimeter of our base, and H is the height of our slant. All right? So we go ahead and look at um, surface area equals 1 half perimeter. Well, if that's 3, that's 3. If that's 4, that's 4. So therefore, our perimeter is 14. You guys can see that the distance from the top to that edge is 7. That's the slant height, plus the area of the base. So we notice this is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. You can just go through that way. Um, since this is a rectangle, yeah, there we go. Since it's a rectangle, we know that to find the area, it's just going to be base times height, which in this case will be 3 times 4. OK? So now, to go ahead and figure the rest of this out, I just do 1 half times 14 is 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals 61. Again, now we're going back to area. So therefore, this was, I didn't give you guys anything. Let's call this in centimeters. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So since this would be in centimeters, our surface area will be centimeters squared. That's it. Isn't that too bad? Huh? Do you want to do the half part? Yes.